Hello, Park Township. My name is Kevin Moss, and I stand before you today not just as a candidate for the Board of Trustees, but as a lifelong member of our community. You see, Park Township, Park Township isn't just a place on a map. Park Township is our home. Park Township is where we grew up. Park Township is where we grew our businesses from the ground up. And Park Township is, of course, where all of us have made countless memories with our loved ones, with our friends, and with our significant others. So, we all know the potential that we have as a Park Township community, but on the same, uh, on the same tone, we all know that as Park Township residents, we face challenges and we face a lot of problems on a daily basis. And whether we're talking about our township finances, like the $22.5 million proposal brought forth by the, by the board just a couple days ago. Ladies and gentlemen, we need transparency. We need the list of contractors. We need a comprehensive budget so we know exactly where our money is going. We need transparency. That's what government is about. And especially with finances, with a grant, with a proposal where us, Park Township residents, will pay for a community center worth $22.5 million. So finance is just a small part of our problems, but it's a pretty big one. Um, I also am a big, big, big supporter um, in finding a way to navigate the problem of affordable housing. The, the price of a home in Park Township has gone through the roof in the last couple of years, let alone the last couple of months. And it's driven many families to the point where they can't even buy a home anymore. They can't even live in our great community because the cost is just too high. But ladies and gentlemen, the, the most important issue and the most important challenge that we all face on a daily basis and that we are all thinking about on a daily basis is our safety. Okay, first I wanna to touch on schools because as a young folk myself, I have a perspective that carries a lot of people's perspective and carries a big voice and a big, um, you know, genre of people that haven't been spoken to, that haven't been heard from Park Township government in a very long time. You know, you don't know, you really don't know, because I didn't know until you hear those words in a school, lockdown, 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 this is not a drill. I went to West Ottawa and when I was in high school, we had a classmate, actually he was in my first hour and we had a classmate bring a gun to school and he was running around the school and he got chased around the school. And it was chaos. It was chaos. This is West Ottawa. This is in Park Township. Our teachers were boarding up the doors. People did not know what to do. It was complete mayhem. Nobody was prepared. I repeat, nobody was prepared. We need to do better. As Park Township leaders, and as citizens of this great township, we need to do better to make sure that our schools are more protective and more protected from school shooters. It is sickening to think that that is a problem, but to me, that is one of the biggest problems because nobody should have to go through what students every single day in the nation have to go through where they are worried about a school shooter coming. You know, compared to 50 years ago today, there is four times as many school shootings per year. Quadruple, actually over quadruple 
This is a major issue, and we need to ramp up security in the schools. You know, we can't just say it's a gun-free zone. We're good. We can't do that. That's not good enough, okay? We need to do better, and we need to make sure that our schools are in the best position possible to stop any kind of threat that arises. Another significant issue and challenge regarding safety in Park Township is drowning. You know, 81 deaths this year in 2024 due to drowning in the Great Lakes. 41 out of those 81 were in Lake Michigan. Holland State Park is one of the most popular beaches on Lake Michigan. And we see people almost every single year die to drowning. I personally have seen with my own eyes someone get carried off the pier in a body bag. Literally thousands of people on the beach. I was there with two of my siblings, Derek and Kyle. Jenna and Kyle, sorry. Um, but yeah, it sucked. It, it, there was no worse feeling than seeing a lifeless body getting carried out and me thinking personally, I've always thought, I'm invincible. I'm invincible. I can swim through anything, right? I'm a swimmer. No. 66% of drownings were people that were considered strong, very strong swimmers. So that is not an okay, uh, acceptable solution. But where in the world are our lifeguards. Why have we not had any self-reflection on our township and hired some lifeguards? I'm a lifeguard. I would gladly volunteer to go help out at our beaches. But ladies and gentlemen, we need to learn from our mistakes. Even though we weren't the ones that, that died, or maybe it wasn't even our family or friends that died, we need to own up to our mistakes. We need lifeguards at Holland State Park in the summertime at a minimum, but we need lifeguards. And by electing me and by writing me in as your board of trustee member, I will do whatever I can to make sure that we have safe beaches that tourists can come to and enjoy their time. But we need to have safe beaches. We need to prioritize our citizens and our residents and our tourists, safety. Safety comes first. And this next issue is not an important issue, is not a life-threatening issue, just gonna be <laughs> completely straight up. But I guarantee you this, I'm the only one that will say it. The Big Red Lighthouse should be open to the public just because just because, I got to be careful, just because people that have a lot more money than everyone else, a lot more fame than, than everyone else, and potentially even a lot more power than everyone else, does not mean that they get to decide and they get to change the laws and they get to go around the laws and close down boardwalks and restrict all access to the Big Red Lighthouse. Four years ago, Park Township said on their website, that they're working on it. Did we give up? Uh, why, why did we give up? Let's move forward. I am dripping sweat, but let's move forward. Okay, let's not give up. And I promise you, by electing and writing me in as your board of trustee, I will make the big red lighthouse open to the public again. That is a promise. I will do what it takes. But it's not just the Big Red Lighthouse. It's not just lifeguards. It's not just our schools. And it's not just affordable housing. Ladies and gentlemen, I know that if we work together as a team and we actually function as a community and not self-serving people looking to benefit themselves and their family and try to get fame and try to get this and try to get that, if we operate as a community, rely on our neighbors, listen to our neighborhood associations, and listen to our 
governmental electors who actively reach out trying to talk to you, we will be known as a township that thrives. We will go down in the history books as the years that Park Township saw numerous growth and numerous potential. Because, ladies and gentlemen, we are not a good and functioning government if we don't listen to our neighbors, if we don't listen to our trustees, if our trustees don't listen to us. You guys, we need to talk to people. It's okay to get out of your comfort zone. It's okay to tell people how you feel. I'm a big believer in the truth. I don't care if you have an opinion that makes me uncomfortable. You tell me your opinion because I wanna know your opinion. And I wanna know all of your opinion because the only way I can get to know the general consensus of the people is if everyone tells me blatantly and honestly how they feel. And by writing me in, you are not writing me in and it is not a vote for me. You are writing the people in, and it is a vote for the people of Park Township who have been forgotten, who maybe haven't voted in a while, who feel that they are not heard. Because I listen. Leave a comment down below. Join the conversation because I am watching and I want to know your feelings. I want to know your opinions and I want to know your frustrations because that's the only way we can grow as a community and we can grow as a township. So please join the discussion and write me in because I cannot do this alone. I need your help. I need your voice. Really, I, that, I need your voice because I need to know how you feel. And I need your vote. I really do. And you're going to be seeing a lot more of me every single day, hopefully three times a day, right here. Hopefully not as sweaty. Hopefully not as nervous. But we're going to do this together. And we're going to do this right. Because as a community and as a township, we thrive when we are a team. The team, the team, the team. I'm sorry, Spartan fans, I had to say it. The team, rely on your neighbors, rely on associations, rely on your trustees, and please, trustees, rely on the residents. Listen, because a 75-person boardroom does not fit 8,000 people, just, just saying. But with that being said, Please follow all of my social media and join the discussion, join the conversation. I'm Kevin J. Moss, and I approve this message.